welcome back to another video. So glad you could join me. I'm on a river, an amazing river. I only come to this river once, maybe twice a year. It's right about now when the brown trout are in here, cicadas. There should be a few rainbows as well, and with a bit of luck, we'll be able to get either one of those on a dry or even a cicada. I'm excited for today and today's video because I've got something in my backpack here. You're gonna have to wait till the end of the video or close to the end of the video to see what it is. Super excited to use it. I've never done this before. Pretty much looking more forward to what's in my backpack than I am to the fishing. I've hiked up about an hour to get here and I can already see a few brown trout in here so I'm gonna try to catch them. But before I do that, while I've got you here, I've been looking at the channel analytics and I can see that about 80 to 90% of you guys that keep coming back watching these videos aren't subscribed. So if you could do me a huge favor, if you've watched more than one of my videos, just go down there, so click the subscribe button. There's a little bell there you can ring if you want. Uh, it's free, it's easy to do, and it really does help me out. I just brought this new filter for the GoPro. Uh, polarizing filter it's like $130 and it's with that kind of support and those subscribers uh, that I'm able to do things like that so yeah the goal is for a hundred thousand subscribers this year I still got like 40,000 to go we're well over halfway but uh, I think we can do it so if you could just help me out while you're there like the video as well Chris found a fish just downstream of where I was so I'm gonna go cast to him first there's actually two of them Got him. Yes. First cast. Holy crap. Stay down here. Stay down here. Stay down here. Don't go up there. Bad fish. You're scaring all the rest of them. That wasn't actually first cast. That was like second or third. Come here. Oh no, he's wrapped up. This isn't going to end well, I'm pretty sure. Oh, but I got him. Sweet, we are off the mark with a nice brown trout. That's exactly what I came up here for. This one's a little bit skinny. Hopefully there's some, uh, some better models around. But let's let this guy go. Yeah, this guy's a little on the skinny side. But uh, we'll take it. See you, buddy. All right, stoked to get the first brown. There's like three casts, and we're already on the board. Super happy about that. I was expecting to see a couple more through here, so hopefully they're further up that way, but time will tell. Oh, yeah. Stay here. No, that's bad. I don't know what is going on with my GoPro, but I, don't, I wasn't recording or I had an SD card error or something. But anyway, I caught, um, but I caught this guy. The much better condition fish. Super happy with that. Really nice brown. I ate a wee. I think it's a little pole position. Seems to be working. That's a nice fish. See, buddy. That's so weird. I've had a GoPro and SD card error on my GoPro and on this camera this morning. So hopefully I haven't lost any footage so far. I've only gone from just below that log jam to right here, two browns. All right, another fish out here, lightweight nymph rig. It's a size 10 here in copper and a size 16 nymphy, nymphy nymphy. Man, if you're in the South Island or pretty much anywhere, ah, oh, and I've spooked them. How, how is that possible? I think that's actually a rainbow. He should be catchable. I thought it was a brown, but now that I've watched him swim around. Yep. 
it's a it's a rainbow. There's two of them. Strong as hell. Man, because what I've got what I've got in my backpack, my net situation has changed a lot. And I can't get my net off in a hurry anymore. Come here, fishy. It's been a while in between fish, so I'm more than happy to catch you. Thanks, buddy. Cool. All right, buddy. See ya. All right, so I can see two fish out in front of me, one rainbow, one brown. At this point, I'll be happy to catch either of them. The brown's really big, so I'd love to catch him, but just based on what the rest of these fish are doing, I just didn't seem that likely. Especially doesn't seem that likely now that he's swum away. There's another one over there. All right. There's a few around, there's certainly a few around. I just need one of them to eat a fly. I caught those first two in a matter of like, I don't know, 15 minutes at about 9.30, 10 o'clock, and it's now 12.30. So it's two and a half hours in between those first two browns and that rainbow I just caught, which was only moments ago. That brown moved, actually. He thought about it. He was like, oh, should I? But he didn't, obviously. He moved out of the way of that one. Oh, shit. He's moved a couple of times for it, pretty much just harassing this guy into a, into a, what do you call it, a, I'm annoyed at it, I'm going to eat it, sort of strike, get out of my face, kind of strike, oh, didn't like that, he's getting annoyed with it. Yep, got him just pissed him right off <laughs> he didn't have to move far for it but just uh, a nice little snap as it went by so he's eating the bottom one which is a um, uh, what the heck is it I can't remember now I'll show you in a sec what a big fish Oh yeah, stoked. It's so good. He ate, that's a little size 16. He had a little size 16 pheasant tail. Another kind of skinny fish, but I'm pretty happy with that. Stop making that noise, fish. So how's the polarized filter going? Can you guys see that fish there? It's right there. It's cruising away. Oh, there's another one right beside me. Cool. Right, let's see if I can annoy this other one into eating it. No, he's on to me. He's out of here. Where's he going? He just ate something. Don't think it was my fly. Oh, oh, fire. Dang it, he had it. He ate it and I missed it. Why did I say ooh instead of setting the hook? Oh, that, ah, oh, damn. Damn it, damn it, damn it. Why did I say ooh instead of setting the hook? That is not my finest piece of work. Ah, 
Nah, you get that on the big jobs. But anyway, three fish, three browns, one rainbow. Happy with that. That's going good so far. And we've got about another two or three pulls till we're at where I'm going to show you what's in the bag. Oh man, I can see a big fish down there. That's a tanker. A rainbow down in there. That's alright, I'll take him. I just saw one fish upstream of two of the browns, uh, so I had to cast it in because it was fresh, but it turns out that's a rainbow. That's okay, this is a nice rainbow. Man, you get so picky when you're fishing for these big browns. Rainbows that you normally absolutely find catching become like bycatch. And, uh, but this is a nice one. Nice healthy rainbow. Oh, in and out. Oh man, what's wrong with my net? There we go, got him. All right, nice, cool, healthy rainbow. See you, buddy. Cool, so that fish ate. He ate the big, that's a size 10 gold bead here in copper, category three. Always link below. All right, all right, all right. Here we are. Here we are. All right, dude, so I'm up, I'm up, pretty much as far as I'm gonna go, but this is usually the main event. Normally there's quite a few fish in here. I can't see any at the moment. There's a straight up here, probably looking the straight, but over here there's a little creek that flows in. Normally that holds a lot of fish. I'm gonna put a cicada through, then a cicada with a dropper, then some light nymphs, then some heavier nymphs, then an egg. That's my plan. We've caught three or four fish and we're where we're gonna go, so now I'm gonna show you what's in this bag. Surely this has gotta be a bit of a hint. Surely that's gotta be a bit more of a hint. Ta-da! It's a pack raft. So that's the basic shape of the boat. And it's got this floor you put in. So you blow it up in like two or three minutes with the little electric pump and then you top it off with breath from this hose. All right, so pack raft set up. I'm gonna chuck some flies through there. Actually, no, I'm not. I'm gonna fly the drone, see if there's any fish even in there. Drop me a like for getting that fish with the drone in the air. That should do it. I think I had the drone remote in my hip pack. Super dangerous. Shouldn't be doing stuff like that. I'm going to lose another drone. So let me a like and subscribe to the channel for the effort to getting that shot. There is a bunch of fish over there. I'm probably going to have another couple of casts before I jump in this boat and have a talk to you about it. And then there's a couple of spots on the way back down that I want to fish.
right, so this is the raft. I've just topped it off with the hose. Coca Kelly pack raft. I've been down the Tongariro once and I fell out. There's a video of that. I wasn't fishing, it was just testing it out. Um, but I've been meaning to use this thing a whole lot more and I'm about to start. So here we go, maiden voyage essentially. Definitely one of the stupidest things I've ever done. I'm flying a drone while I'm paddling a boat. Dudes, that's it from me. Thank you guys so much for watching. I uh, really appreciate it. I think I ended up with three browns, definitely three browns, maybe three rainbows, and a great float down in this uh, Coca Pally pack raft. They're going to be linked in the description. Their Instagram will be. Uh, go check them out. Go check out the rafts. And if you do go to their Instagram, drop them a comment. Tell them I sent you. And uh, if you do end up watching this, someone from Coca Pally. Sorry, I haven't used this thing as much as we both would like, but it's definitely happening. Uh, so many opportunities once my confidence grows a little bit and where I can take this thing. But other than that, I got nothing else for you except uh, if you liked the video, then you like the damn video, subscribe to the channel, and I will catch all of you in the next one. Peace.